best bars in the business. Dead man in the building. You know what I mean? Um, no, y'all used to seeing funny vlogs from me. Um, I'm just gonna tell y'all right now, this is not a funny vlog. This is a very serious vlog. You know what I mean? So anybody watching this, hoping for a funny vlog, y'all probably just you know stop watching right now. You know, end the video, go find something else to do. Uh, wash dishes, uh, do laundry, play in traffic, something like that. But I'm just letting y'all know right now, it's not a funny vlog, so don't get mad at me if, if you don't laugh during this vlog, because I warned you, all right? So to any of y'all that are still watching, what up, y'all? Yo? You know what I mean? Been Feels like it's been a long time since I've seen y'all, you know what I'm saying? And it has been a while, you know what I mean? I took a little vacation, uh, took a break from battle rap, you know what I mean? Because there's a this thing called the real world that you know a lot of us have to you know, get back to from time to time you know what I mean? But me I have fun in the world, real world you know what I mean? I just do what anybody in the real world is supposed to do just uh, you know play video games and fuck bitches and that's pretty much it you know what I mean? so I got back to the real world uh, you know what I mean? I went back to being a fan of battle rap you know what I mean? instead of a battler because in the beginning I was a fan to me it's more fun being a fan you know what I'm saying? because as a fan, you can just show up to events. You ain't got to worry about remembering bars. You ain't got to worry about being there at a certain time. You can come and leave as you please. You can not show up, period. You can leave early. You know, take a girl to a hotel and do what you want to do, and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? But as a battler, you got certain responsibilities, and, you know, to me, it's more fun being a fan. Plus, as a fan, you ain't got to worry about all these whining ass bitch niggas complaining on YouTube with their stupid little comments and in the Facebook groups complaining about this, that, and the third, you know what I mean? As a fan, you really don't gotta even care about none of it, you know what I mean? Now people ask me, do the, do the YouTube comments make you mad, dead man? Um, does Gary Kasparov get mad at the pawn on a chessboard, you know? Of course not, you know what I'm saying? I don't get mad, but it's still an annoyance that I really don't have to deal with when I go back to being a fan, you know what I mean? So, I just was been chilling, you know, doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? But even even now, like there's gonna be some people that watch this video and make their stupid little comments on the bottom, like, oh, that man's trash, that man can't want to ain't want to battle ever, da da da. But then again, you clicked on the video that said the dead man on it and watched it. Why? I mean, yeah, because you're a dumbass, but I mean still, like why? You didn't have to do it. No one put a gun bar to your head and told you to watch this video. You chose to do it, like a pawn, and so Blame yourself. Don't be mad at me that you watched my video, you feel me? But, I mean, regardless of that, I still do have some fans, you know what I mean? Like, three of them, but I have fans, okay. Actually, like, five of them. But two of them are league owners, so it might not really count. But anyway, I have some fans, and my fans, whenever they see me, they ask me, when are you getting back in the ring, dead man? You know what I'm saying? We're tired of this, of this pen game mediocrity that's taking the world by storm. We need some more gun bars. You know what I mean? We need to find out. We need to hear more ways of, of killing people using rock bands or, you know, items in your cabinet or blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I mean, the rest of the sun's been holding it down in that part of it. But there, is, there are bars that only I can think of, you know what I mean? So, I tell them, like I tell everybody, I don't know, I'm chilling when something approaches me that makes me inspired again, I'll come back to battle rap. And there is one incident that did. Uh, maybe two or three battle events ago, Big Cannon, yeah, y'all know Big Cannon, you know what I mean? Big Cannon is a, he's a, he's a known battler. He's battled, battled pretty much every league, you know what I'm saying? But he was at an event, it was a, I don't even remember which event, but it was two or three events ago in LA, King of the Dot, and I was up there as a fan, minding my own business. Big Cannon walks up to me like, hey, dead man, What's it going to take for me and you to battle on King of the Dot? And you know, my first go-to answer whenever anyone asks me that is, I'm retired, nigga, I don't know what I'm battling again. Because, I mean, it's not like, a lot of people say, oh, real battle will battle anybody, anywhere. Nigga, if I'm not even the most viewed, the most attention on me, nothing like that. But I get challenged every single fucking day. And if you said yes to every single battle you got, you would be battling every fucking day. Some of these niggas are already battling two, three times a week. You know what I mean? I got more important things to do, no offense to battle rap, but I got more important things to do in a week than battle three times a week. So I only say yeah if the name is big enough, you know what I mean? Because usually I'm battling names that are you know out through the roof, you know what I'm saying? But Big Cannon is a big name, number one. He's been on all the major leagues besides King of the Dot, number two. And number three, which probably should be number one, he was respectful about it. He wasn't like, oh, dead man, you trash, you can't win around. 
let's battle. Like all these other dumbass niggas be doing, you know what I mean? He came respectfully like, hey, I think you're nice. I think I'm nice. Let's battle. And I don't respect that. And I can benefit from battling a name like Big Cannon anyway. So I told him, you know what, my nigga? I don't even know what my next battle is going to be. But I, I'll give you my word, my next battle will be against you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, a, I'm, I, I'm officially in retirement. Uh, in retirement, I guess. But when, my next battle to bring me out of retirement will be against Big Cannon on King of the Dot. You know what I'm saying? Again, there's going to be some dumb niggas typing... Oh, damn, man, you trash. We don't want you want you to stay retired. But then again, you clicked on a video with my name on it. Not even a battle video. It's a vlog. And you're watching my vlog with my name on it like a fucking pawn. So, I mean, move the pawn on the chessboard. That's all I can say. You know what I mean, you, if you want to feel like a dumbass, then do what you got to do. But I'm, I'm trying to help y'all out. All right. So, you know, but that's that. You know what I mean? Uh... Other than that, you know, uh, I just want to tell this to Big Cannon directly, my nigga. I'm saying this because I respect you, my nigga. This is not the problem you want, my nigga. You do not want these problems, my nigga. Like, most of my battles I take because the name is so big of a name that I can't say no to it because of the visibility, you know what I'm saying? But I'm usually not done with my rounds. I usually don't have them memorized. I'm usually rushing my, my, my delivery, my performance is sloppy, so, you know what I mean, the battle doesn't come out the way it probably should. But I told myself I wouldn't take another battle until I could know I could focus on it 100% the way I'm supposed to. And so my next battle is going to be like that. And if you want, I mean, I know you think you want that kind of static, Big Cannon, but you do not want that kind of static. I mean, my nigga, you can clearly see I'm built for this shit, my nigga. We gonna go up there looking like a before and after pick for a P90X, my nigga. Like you do not want them problems. I'm telling you right now. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm hearing um, this me versus you probably might not end up being your KOTD debut. Like originally that was the plan, but so much time has gone by. I heard that you're gonna um, end up battling Cheddar Cheese probably before me and you could battle. I mean, if there's even any left of you after Cheddar Cheese gets done with you, then me and you can battle. But I mean, that's that's a big if right there. You know what I'm saying? So. Worry about cheddar cheese, and then me and you can battle, you know what I'm saying? But, like I said, you do not want these problems, my nigga. Your cholesterol is too high to box with God, nigga. Straight up and down, nigga. So, like I said, me versus Big Cannons is going to be the next battle for King of the Dot. You know what I mean? I don't know when, I don't know where, sooner or later, but it's going down. When y'all were playing checkers, I was playing chess. When y'all started playing chess, I was done playing games. Machiavellian is Illuminati, all through your body. The blows like a 12 gauge shot it. Uh, feel me? And God said he should send his one begotten son to lead the wild into the ways of the man. Follow 